Hi, if you're thinking about rebasing miniatures for your Dungeons Dragons or Pathfinder games, this is a classic Dungeons Dragons figure. This is the Tiefling Warlock, Warlock and I'm just going to use them as an example. There's some uh, a lot of minis out there. One of the mini companies is uh, Dreamblade. This is uh, one of the Dreamblade minis that I cut off a base, glued it onto a washer, spray painted it black, and that is for size comparison. Now, this is a Skeever Hatchling. When I was looking at these minis online, they always have a good picture, but they never show the a good reference to how they would look if you rebase them. This is uh, a mini comparison. So this is a Skeever Hatchling. That's the size comparison to just a regular size mini. And you always gotta have uh, slimes or whatever that you wish. Here's another one. This is the Soul Grub. It's almost like a slime. There's a bunch of faces and the slug itself, the face with the mouth is open. It's another good mini that you could probably rebase. And this is the size comparison right there. Another mini from Dreamblade, Horrid Poltergeist. Slimes are always good in Dungeon Dragons or Pathfinder, and this is Dream Stuff Entity. It's like a ooze with a hand coming out in the face. So if you were to cut it off, that's the size comparison. And then we have Blind Spike Mauler. And this guy's actually pretty rad. And that would be the size comparison. And then you could do a Night of Strife and Joy. If you rebase them, that would be the size difference. And then another quick look at this guy. And then you have a Raging Tusker. If you were to cut them off, this is the size comparison. And then we have a treacherous concubine. Size comparison. Then you can get actually get into some of the bigger stuff. Like this is a Mulburn croc. And everyone's seen this picture, especially if you've actually looked at Dreamblade. And then for a size comparison. And some creatures like this, for example, actually would work good with a couple. Now imagine a couple of those guys showing up on your table. And then one more quick one before I go and do my next video. This is a loyal craggle maw. It's a big Tuscan lion kind of thing. So for a size comparison.
And then something like this, especially since it's so big, I usually have my big guys either get covered with uh, a bunch of minions or they travel in pairs. So you have one, and then you have two, and then you have them show up on the table and then they'd be pretty rad. Uh, what I do, like for on this guy, I just take a hacksaw and, and I just trim them off. Uh, on Ben's RPG pile, he gives you a better tutorial about how to actually rebase these minis onto circle bases, one inch or or whatever, depending on the size of the mini that you're rebasing. Uh, Ben's RPG pile, uh, search it up here on YouTube. He has a great tutorial for it. And now if you look at this guy, being rebased, it's perfect for your RPG. Hope this uh, gives you an idea of what some of the Dreamblade figures kind of look like and their size comparisons. Alright, thanks for watching.